Hi, this is Russell Sunnar from teachertrainingvideos.com. I've got a lovely video for you today, which is a teaching idea, especially for language teachers. And the nice thing about this is that you can make it as small or as big as you want. So it could be a very simple lesson with your students, or it could be a whole series of lessons. We're going to look at working with Google Sites and how students can create a profile in Google Sites where they can have a little bit about themselves and a little bit about their history. And they could add in pictures and describe those pictures. They could even add in video. They can even add in audio. So it's something you can start really small or you can make it grow. You can almost make it grow into an ePortfolio. Google Sites is super, super simple to use. It's free and there's good security options that I'll go through. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like the video and help me to build up my YouTube channel. Please share the video with any other teachers that you know. And of course, if you've got any comments, leave them in the space below. Let's get started. So any student can create a Google site and they can actually do it in groups as well. So this could be a great group work activity by simply coming onto Google, clicking here, coming down to their Google Drive. And of course, you've also got this in Google Classroom. And then in our case, we're going to click on new and then we want to come down to more. And the one that we're looking for is Google Sites. So that's the starting point. And I will show you in a minute as well how you can actually have more than one student working on a Google site. But let's just start straight away by creating our own kind of opening page of our website. So let's imagine that we're going to do a, a, like a kind of a student profile. So I'm going to call this Russell student. Or let's just call it Russell student profile. That will do. And that is going to be kind of what the people see as soon as they come on. And I'll click here as well, actually, and just I'll, I'll use the same title. This is actually the name of the file so that you can find the file. So I'll call it Russell Student Profile. Whenever I give a name to a file, I never put any spaces between it. OK, so this is the actual what they'll see. But this is when you want to look for your file when you're looking for it in Google Drive. This is the name that you've given it. OK, now we can start to add content and to add content it's really easy. I'm just going to double click on the screen and notice if I double click, I get all these options. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text here. So I'm going to click here text and I can just write in some text about myself and I can even make that kind of text a bit smaller or longer. Now, to save time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy some text and paste it in. Uh, which is also possible, but obviously we really want to encourage our students to write a little bit about themselves. So just to save time, I'm going to grab some of the text from my profile, just make it a lot quicker. I'm going to copy that, come back to our website. And then all I need to do is paste that text in. Now, the way that that text works as well is that I can kind of make, as I said, make it smaller or bigger. And what I could do on the right here is double click and I'm going to click on upload from my computer. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to upload a picture. OK, so obviously you would get your students not to copy the text the way that I've done, but obviously to write about themselves. Now, it probably be quite more, a lot more difficult for them to copy the text because presumably they won't necessarily have a website with information about them. Um, let me just put up a picture. So just to add that picture in. So I use this picture here. So I'm going to click on that. Now I've got a picture on the screen as well. So we've got, immediately we've got an opening page that we've got the students to create with a little introduction to themselves. Now let's imagine that we want then the students to create another page with perhaps some information about why they are learning English or what they're interested in. So what we can do is we can click on pages over here and we can add another page. So we just click here to add new page and we're going to talk, we're going to call this English. OK, I mean, of course, it could be another language. It could be Spanish or French or whatever language you're learning. Click on done. Now we've got two pages. We've got the home page and we've got an English page. Now I'm going to double click on the screen here. And this time I'm actually going to write in some text. So um, why I learn English. 
or why I am learning English and what we can say why I am learning English and then we can write obviously some text here a good idea would be just to make that bold so we would then add our text in here underneath okay and then possibly another question we might ask the students is what I do to learn English okay so the great thing about this idea is that the students are obviously writing in English but they're also learning at the same time to produce a website because this essentially what Google Sites does is allow your students to learn how to create a website but also at the same time to add content into the website. Now one of the interesting things about Google Sites as well is that we can embed videos from YouTube and I'm going to show you that now because it's really simple to do. So let's imagine that we're going to have another page. So we're going to click on pages again here on the right hand side. We're going to click here and we're going to pipe my favorite singer slash band. OK, and then we're going to click on done. And this could be an opportunity for your students to put up a picture, for example, or a video of their favorite singer or their favorite band and maybe then write a little bit about them. So I'm going to do that now. And the way I'm going to do that this time is that I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to come down to YouTube and I'm going to search for a video and so I'm going to look for my favorite singer which is Marvin Gaye so I'm going to put Marvin Gaye and I'm going to write for a particular video that I want I want you it was a great song one of my favorite songs of Marvin Gaye I'm going to click on search and hopefully it's going to find that video or that song and I can see it here various versions of it um, and I'll just click on one of them to add in. So we'll click on this one here. Click on select. Now that video is added up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the right hand side. I'm going to add some more text where I'm going to write about why I like Marvin Gaye. So this section might say write about your favorite singer. Okay, and again now. So we could even suggest the questions that we're going to ask the students. And then again, I could now write some text here. So I've written in some text now as well. OK, so we're really building up here a kind of profile about me. OK, with a little bit of information about who I am. Obviously, you would get the students to write about themselves, not to cut and paste it. And hopefully they wouldn't be able to do that anyway, because it's very unlikely that they're going to have a website with um, all that information written up. Well, I was just doing that to be a bit lazy. I've then got a section here about English, which I've not filled in. But again, the students could be writing a little bit about why they are learning English and what they do to learn English. I've done a section here on my favorite singer, and I'm now going to do a section section on a new section which I'm going to call a special place a special place and I'm going to click on done and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up a picture so I need to search for a picture of a special place that I want to think or I want to uh, refer to and in my case to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on images and I have actually got access to all sorts of images that I've uploaded and worked with but in this particular case what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it by URL now I need to show you how this works every image that's on the internet has an URL and we can use that URL to add our picture into the screen and I'm just going to take you through that now so I'm on Google and what I'm going to do is in Google I'm going to search for pictures of Crete. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose um, a particular place there, which is going to be Rethymnol. And the reason I'm going to choose Rethymnol is because that actually, and there I can just put it there, is actually the place where I first started working. So what I can do now is click on images. And I can see lots of different pictures of it. Of, this is a very typical picture of Rethymnol. In fact, this picture, I've got it on my wall. So I'm going to click on that. And all I need to do now is to right click and copy image address okay copy image address now I'm going to jump back to my Google sites I'm going to paste that link in there it is and now it, that image comes in now there's no copyright issue here because you're not actually downloading that image you're simply sharing it from the link so you can then insert that image in and now again I can make that image a little bit bigger 
I can then click on the right hand side here and I could just write a little bit about my favorite place, a special place. So I'm just gonna put the title in and then I would then write a little bit about uh, the special place. So again, we could do this over a series of lessons. So it could be week one, maybe they create their homepage with their profile. Week two, two, they talk about English. Week three, they talk about their favorite band. And of course, you could link this into the lesson so the students could do some preparatory work in the class. Uh, and then for homework, for example, they can do this. Now I'm gonna show you one further idea that you could try out if you really wanted to push uh, this whole idea of the students creating a kind of profile. So let's imagine another idea. This is my final suggestion. So as I said, this can be built up over a period of time. We're gonna click here and we're gonna put hobbies and habits, okay? So we're gonna have a section of hobbies and habits. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna record this as an audio file and then put the audio on here. So I'm gonna use a website called Vokaroo. I'm gonna click on that website. And then notice all I need to do here is to click on this button here and I can record myself talking. So obviously, in reality, the students would prepare this. They might do some preparation work in class. This again could be their homework or they could do this in classroom. They might want to obviously plan out what they're going to talk about. I'm just going to give you the basic idea, but they could click on this button. Yeah, well, I suppose my main hobby is playing the guitar. And uh, over the last couple of years, I've started to play more and more regularly. Uh, I practice probably about five times a week and I also sing. Uh, I sometimes sing in pubs and clubs and even recently I've started to get paid for it. So I guess that's probably my number one hobby. My second hobby, blah, 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 blah. So I've done my recording, click on stop. Okay, now what I can do, I can play it back and just check it's okay by just clicking on this button here. So let's just play that back and check it's working. Yeah, well, I suppose my main hobby is playing the guitar. So really simple to use, it's a free tool. Now I'm gonna click on save and share. And what I actually, I've got two options here really. I can just share the link or I could embed. Okay, so we're gonna use embed because it will work quite well. I'm gonna click on that and we just click on copy embed code. Now let's come back to our Google Sites. And now all we need to do is double click on the screen but we're gonna click on this one here, embed. And we're just gonna paste in the embed code. So it's gonna paste that in, click on next. And it's gonna add that in, so click on insert. And now we've got the audio file there. Now you can't actually play that audio file at the moment, but if you come up to here and click on preview, then it will open up and the audio file should work. Let's see if it works okay. Yeah, well, I suppose my main hobby is absolutely perfect. So you can see how we can build this up on a weekly basis and add more and more sections. And, you know, this could almost turn into an e-portfolio because it could be a record of all different types of activities that your students have done. To exit preview, just click on this button here. And that brings you back to the website. Okay, now one final thing that's really important is obviously you want to be able to share this. Now, they could, that you'll probably want to share it with your teacher and if you're going to do a group work uh, or a pair profile or a group profile, then you'll need to share it with the other members of your team. So in that case, one student would make the Google site and then what they would do is add the names of their colleagues. Now, if we click here, notice that we can add the names of anyone we want to share this with. So this is where you would put your students, um, or sorry, the teacher's email address and any other students that you want to be working with on this particular um, website, okay? So if you were doing a group work activity, you would need to add the names of the other students. Or if you were just wanted to share this only with the teacher, you would add the teacher's name here. Now, when you click here on change, you wanna make sure that only people added can open this link. 
uh, only people added can uh, open this link okay so this is this would restrict both the draft and when you finally publish you don't necessarily need to publish anyway but you want those on restricted and then once you've set those two restricted click back on here and add the email address now I'm going to show you I'm going to add in my another email address of mine just to show you how this would work so I've added one additional email address and I'm going to click on send so that person will now have access to this site and I'm going to show you how that would look so you can see the invite here I can click on that and I can actually open that and I could obviously be the teacher but I could also be a student so if this was say a pair work activity it would be possible for me now to also edit this as the second student working on this particular project and obviously you could invite more students um, this is a sort of activity that you can either work on alone or in a group you don't ever need to publish there's no real need to publish this site because you're really only restricting it to a certain number of viewers if you really wanted to make the site accessible to everybody then you would click on publish here but you would need to change the use level in other words you would have to obviously specify that it's not restricted but that actually everybody can access uh, the site that's only if you wanted to publish really hope that was useful I think it's a lovely idea because it's something that can grow and for me it's got a lot of potential as a language learning tool and of course it's free I hope that video was useful please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com lots more videos on the website there's a special section on language teaching that's very popular and uh, lots of other sections as well if you want to follow my work the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter you get updated about all my webinars all my blog posts you get updated about all the latest videos and any online courses I'm running you can also follow me on my YouTube channel it's pretty popular I think we've got more than 60,000 subscribers now and if you did want me to do some training with your organization or to present at a conference then you can contact me from the website and thank you very much